Hi, Mike and Arlen, our Philippine journey. Wow. You know, I've been working on this video for a while because I had to talk with at least a half a dozen, dozen different girls to make sure I had a wide range of responses to go by. Uh, so that takes time. Um, you know, we're not out there every night, that's for sure. With that being said, do Filipinas double dip? Now, it's, I guess the topic's a little bit in the gutter, but it's not in the sewer because it's a real thing. Let's talk about it. I never got it what you had to go. I guess this world's too slow for you. I think there's beauty in the gray, the cold, the you just want to go. And there's no way I can beat it because I got no chance, no chance when all right now uh double dipping double dipping is something that um a term that came up in the u.s years and years and years ago maybe they copied it from another country i can't take credit for it right but it's when somebody you know typically what would happen is, is a veteran would do his 20, retire with those veteran benefits, get a government job, do 20 more, and retire with those benefits, and he was getting double government benefits. But he was getting paid twice. All right. Now, this entire subject came up in an abstract way. Then what I mean by that is, is, We've gotten emails, we've gotten comments, we've gotten questions over a long period of time, but not enough for me to really be, you know, willing to go into and find out the information. There's one off here, one off there. But finally, we got enough to where it was insinuating something. And that was, why do Philippine women prefer Koreans? And I thought to myself, I don't know that they do just because there's a lot of Korean bars and just because the Koreans go there and they have a lot of girls, that doesn't mean that Koreans prefer, uh, that Filipinas prefer Koreans. The second thing is, is I think the Koreans are good businessmen. They pay the girls more and they seem to have a better working environment. I think for the I don't know, for, for whatever it's worth. Maybe it's not true. I do know things are changing. The American bars are stocking up. It seems like they're, uh, where, wherever they're getting their uh, 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 stock, isn't that a terrible word? I apologize. It's improving, that's for sure. All right. But I said, I got to find this out. So we talk a lot of girls. And incidentally, this other part came up the part of double dipping because what the girls were saying was you know what for customers we kind of like or i kind of like you know i'm talking to one girl at a time kind of like koreans you know and you've all heard or many of you have heard in the past you know three 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 inches three minutes three thousand pesos now, I think that's totally out the window now, and I have no ideas to the validity or truth behind it. And don't pay any attention to the mess behind me. It's the Halloween candy stuff all getting situated. We'll be doing a video on that later. Now, trying to get through to the bottom of this. Um, so a girl explained it to me quite well. It, she said, it's really nice. The Koreans, they can shoot down here for a long weekend. It's only a four-hour flight. Well, we've mentioned that before. And they can fly directly from Seoul right into Clark, Angeles. It's very convenient. All right? Easy for a long weekend, number one. Number two, there are groups. I didn't know this, but apparently there are groups of Koreans that pool their money together and have one condo. And they take turns using it to go golfing. All right. Whatever. 
But what happens is they hook up with this girl. They want her to be available at all times on a whim. All right? So they sponsor her. So, you know, he's paying her X amount of dollars per month. I didn't ask how much. I don't care. doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Now, what the girl said, it's really nice because the Koreans are easier than Westerners. They have more of a language barrier, all right, number one. Number two, it's like business, done, dinner, okay? And number three, because they're almost always married or with girlfriends, there aren't consistently long text chats and chitty chat and stuff like that, like long-distance relationships. Now, she explained all this, and she said, now what's nice and what's not nice. What is nice is I'm being paid to do nothing. Secondly, though, what's bad is, is many times the Koreans and these groups of Koreans own places up in Clark, and yet getting from Clark to Walking Street is a pain. But I said, well, why are you worried about it? You're being sponsored. What are you doing down on Walking Street? Well, I tell him I'm going to see my mom tonight, and I go to work at a bar. And so because I'm getting sponsored and because I'm cute and I'm a good worker, the bar lets me work however I want. So that's what happens. So now they're double dipping. They're getting paid on both sides. They're getting money from the Korean and they're getting money from working. She said with Westerners, it's different. Westerners are looking for relationships. And she says, and that, that's, you know, what the girls want. The girls want relationships. But they're always chatting with them on the phone when they're not here. That's the first issue. The second issue is that they want Americans because of the benefits of becoming an American citizen. Get an American Get an Australian, and actually when I say Americans, they want expats. Now, I don't know what the rules are for becoming a citizen in in Britain or Australia or anything like that for uh, these girls. I have no clue how hard it is to get them there. Maybe it's easier to get them there than it is to get them here. I have no idea. All of those things being said, becoming a citizen in the U.S., pretty much guarantees that they can be destitute in life at some point, and the U.S. government's going to take care of them because they're a citizen. And that's what they're looking for. They're looking to escape. Perhaps they're looking also for family immigration, which the government in the U.S. has really put a clamp on over the past few years. They've actually been talking about making it illegal to continue to do family immigration. I don't know. It's not a problem we have. I've never researched it. But their favorite customer, quite frankly, are Americans. They're a little bit more trouble. They have sometimes, um, they're argumentative. They're strong-willed. They're opinionated. Uh, uh, More so than the Koreans. The Koreans are a little bit more timid, easier to control. So from a financial point of view, they like the Koreans. But for a long-term planning point of view, they like the Americans. And you know what? They did mention British, and they did mention Australian, all right? And however, I don't know anything about the process that they go through for that. So it's, it feels difficult for me to say that. So for those of you that ask, all right? Why do Filipino women like the Koreans more than Americans? They don't. They just pay more. They make more. All right? And that's the bottom line. But they know they're not going back to Korea. They're not going back to Korea because 
Most of these Korean men are married, number one, as are many expats, right? Doesn't matter. But in Korea, Filipino women are looked down on. They're considered dirty. And that's the word that these girls use. They used the word dirty. She said, to get a Korean to bring you to their country and to marry you is almost impossible and almost always has an issue with family. Now, you know, there's exceptions to every rule. All right? that uh, No ifs, ands, or buts about it. But for those of you that have asked, Americans or Westerners, let's just say Westerners or Koreans, they prefer the long game being Westerners. All right? They prefer double dipping with the Koreans. That's about really it. So, in closing, let's just say this. Number one, please do subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. And hit that thumbs up. Number two, please comment. We love to read your comments. We love to respond to your comments. And we try and respond to every comment. All right? Otherwise, thanks. Have a great day.